Today, we will answer this math Olympiad question. And here's the question. Given this equation, square root of x multiplied by 1 plus 1 over x plus y equals 6 over 4. And square root of y multiplied by 1 minus 1 over x plus y equals 6 over 5. Then the goal is to find the values of x and y that satisfies this equation. Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given these two equations, the goal is to find x and y that satisfies this equation, of course. Now, one thing to notice is we have here square root of x and square root of y. It follows that x must be greater than 0. And y is also greater than 0. Also notice this 6 over 4. We can simplify this as 3 over 2 like this. And also let's set aside this result because we will use this later on that x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. Now, getting this first equation, what we're going to do is to divide both sides by square root of x like this. And the second equation, what we're going to do is to divide both sides by square root of y. So to have 1 minus 1 over x plus y equals 6 over 5 times square root of y. And now we will use these two results. And notice, when we add these two results, we eliminated this positive 1 over x plus y and negative 1 over x plus y. So when we add these two results, we get 2 equals 3 over 2 times square root of x plus 6 over 5 times square root of y. Now, let's set aside this result. And instead of adding, why not subtract these two equations? Because when we subtract these two equations, we eliminate now this positive 1. So positive 1 and negative 1 cancel out. Or this is just 0. So when we subtract this, we get 2 over x plus y equals 3 over 2 times square root of x minus 6 over 5 times square root of y. Now, we will now focus on these two results. Why? Because notice, we have here positive and negative. So when we multiply these two equations, we get a nice result because we multiply two same expression having two different signs. So let's do that. And when we multiply this, we get something like 4 over x plus y. And the product of this right-hand side simply equal to the square of the first term minus the square of the last term. And now, when we simplify this, the right-hand side is simply equal to 9 over 4x minus 36 over 25y. And now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to combine these two fractions on the right hand side so this will give us 225y minus 144x over 100xy now we can do cross multiply so 400xy multiplied by x plus y multiply by 225y minus 144x and when we multiply this we get something like 225xy minus 144x squared plus 225y squared minus 144xy now we can combine like terms like two 125xy and negative 144xy. So 225 minus 144, this will give us 81xy. And now let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit and then equate this to 0 like this. Now don't combine positive 81xy and negative 400xy. Here's the reason. Because 225 and 81xy have a common factor of 9y. So we can factor out 9y in these two terms. And 400 and 144 have a common factor of 16. So we can factor out 16x in these two terms. And if we do that, we get 9y multiplied by 25 plus 9x minus 16x, this is the common factor, multiply by 25y plus 9x. And as you can see, we have again a common factor of 25y plus 9x. So we can factor this out. So we have 9y minus 16x multiplied by 25y plus 9x. 
Now, let's focus on this result. And using the zero property, we can say that 9y minus 16x equals 0 or 25y plus 9x equals 0. Now, here comes the point wherein we can now use this condition that x and y are both greater than 0. Since x is greater than 0 or positive, y is also positive, 25y plus 9x cannot be equal to 0 because positive plus positive is a positive number. So this result is not possible. And the only possible result is this one, 9y minus 16x equals 0. And we can say that 9y equals 16x. Now, let's focus on this result because we can now solve for the values of x and y. Let's solve for the value of y in terms of x. Divide both sides by 9. So, y equals 16 over 9 times x. Then, recall this equation. 2 equals 3 over 2 times square root of x plus 6 over 5 times square root of y. Because in this equation, we can now easily solve for the values of x and y. So let's do that. Let's use this equation. And let's replace this y with 16 over 9 times x. By the way, you can use either of these two equations and still you get the same result. But I like to use this equation because this is much easier than using these two. Alright, now let's continue. Simplifying this, square root of 16 over 9 times x, this is just 4 over 3 times square root of x. Now let's focus on this result. Now given this expression, let's multiply this by 3 over 3. So this will give us 18 over 5 times 4 times square root of x. Now 18 and 4, we have a common factor of 2. So this will give us 9 over 2. Now let's focus on this result. And as you notice, don't multiply 2 and 5. We know this is just 10 times square root of x. But if we multiply the first expression, this expression by 5, 5 over 5, we get 15 over 5 times 2 times square root of x. We have now the same denominator, so we can combine them. If we combine them, we get 15 plus 9 or simply equal to 24 over this common denominator, 5 times 2 times square root of x. Now, let's focus on this result and we are now ready to simplify this. 24 and 2 have common factor of 2, so this is just 12 over 5 times square root of x. And now, we can get the value of this square root of x. So, square root of x equals 12 over 10 or simply 2 times 5. And 12 over 10, we can simplify this further as 6 over 5. Therefore, square root of x simply equal to 6 over 5. And the value of x, if we square on both sides, x simply equal to 36 over 25. And this is now the value of x. Now, how about the value of y? We know y is 16 over 9 times x. So y equals 16 over 9 times 36 over 25. And 36 over 25 times 16 over 9, this 36 and 9 have a common factor of 9. So this will become 4. And 16 times 4 is 64 over 25. And that is the value of y. Therefore, given these two equations, then we get the value of y and x as 36 over 25 and 64 over 25. And of course, here's the checking. So as you can see, on the first equation, we get 5 over 4 over 5 over 4. And in the second equation, we get 6 over 5 over 6 over 5. Therefore, given these two equations, square root of x plus 1 over x plus y equals 6 over 4, and square root of y times 1 minus 1 over x plus y equals 6 over 5, then the values of x and y that satisfy this equation are 36 over 25 and 64 over 25. And as always, we are done.